There is now a new educated movement that believes in doing it themselves, of removing themselves from as many systems as possible. It's a very subversive way of bringing local fruits and vegetables to the, the inhabitants of the city. Above the streets of New York, a new generation of farmers is doing something productive in spaces that normally go to waste. This organic field overlooking Manhattan is 15 meters above the Greenpoint sidewalk in Brooklyn. The farmer turned a 750 square meter factory roof into Eagle Street Farm, the first commercial rooftop agricultural venture in North America. And we're growing about 20, 25 different varieties of fruits and vegetables. We grow everything from carrots, which surprises people because our soil is very shallow, to eggplants and tomatoes because everyone in the neighborhood loves them. The farm has been commercially operable for two years now. In our first year, we experimented a lot with crops, and we were trying to figure out just what plants didn't die. This year, we've been focusing more on the marketing, and we are able to run ourselves as a business. Because we sell to restaurants, and we have a market, and a community-supported agriculture group, we operated all year without a single penny of debt. But it's not the only farm in the area that's up on the roof. Brooklyn Grange in Queens also transports its products within cycling distance to local residents and restaurants. The open-air weekly market in Bushwick has just closed the harvesting season and with it their first year of activity. Among the favorite crops, rainbow chard, kale, radish and baby carrots. We're giving people vegetables that were grown right around the corner rather than something that could potentially be shipped from China or imported or, or even driven across the country from California. Everything's organic, there's no sprays on it. Ben Flanner swapped a desk job to grow food full time. He says they're all for eco-friendly practices, like rotating the crops and interplanting different varieties. The idea, he maintains, is to increase people's awareness of healthy eating. I'm a cook. So I cook at work and I cook at home and I cook all the time. So it's really important to me to get quality produce. But rooftop farms are not only a question of crops. An entire community is growing around the organic philosophy. More and more residents are volunteering for gardening duties. And a network of restaurants is spreading an alternative eating culture. Roberta's has become a beacon for the farm-to-table food chain. It's a loyal customer of the rooftop farms, but it also has a greenhouse in its own back garden for growing vegetables. And the organic city evangelists are so keen to spread the word that they've set up a radio station in a shed in the back garden of the restaurant. It is rooftop gardens. It's a beautiful synthesis, people working together. The Slow Food founder, Carlo Petrini, taught me that the best meeting place is an osteria. The way Carlo Petrini would say it for Slow Food, he believes in all things that are good, clean, and fair. And that is what this network is about broadcasting. Locally produced food, green rooftops, and a growing appetite for quality cuisine is blossoming in New York City. The core of the Big Apple is going organic.